what's happening everybody? Kenan hanging out here. Just want to say hello. I'm at my good buddy Fred's house today and we are uh, gonna feed some of his critters right now. There's Fred. Hey guys. You guys might remember Fred from some of the uh, videos. Uh, so we're, we're gonna do some fun stuff right now. We're gonna feed his critters. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just get a little work done first here, Fred. Guys, don't forget to uh, check out the Camp Cannon store. You can see some Camp Cannon shirts, help us out. And if you have a question that you really want answered from either Fred or myself, don't forget you can uh, actually donate. Use the donate button there and I'll see your question and make sure I answer it, give you a shout out. Uh, whatever a little bit helps us out here. Uh, hi. Hey man, it's Mr. Hun. Glad you're here. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, this is an everyday thing around here. N not every day for the shots, but every day for the litter, turtles, or something. Yep, something Today gets fed. we're going to do the gator and cross. So. All right. So, so what's going on? What do you got uh, in the pool? I got, got some chicken. Let's flip it. We're going to flip the All right, so you got some... Uh, yeah, we got, got, the All right. got some chicken. We got some turkey. Uh, we have some roadkill. And, oh. um, roadkill raccoon? Yeah, yeah. No way, dude. Yeah, we do, and um, it's fresh. You know, I can't use bad stuff. Right, so you actually are recycling these animals that would have yeah, actually just died. Yeah, these are, um, I picked both of these up this morning on one trip. My goodness. And um, they are beautiful animals, but... It's a know, shame, yeah. I do, I can and do use them. So, All right. Well, um, there you go. I hope some of you folks, oh, let me just do a little disclaimer. If those of you are a little bit sensitive, you may not want to watch this because we are feeding carnivorous reptiles. Uh, but these are animals that were that had been killed and their bodies would have just gone to waste. So uh, that's what's going on right now. Uh, you want to start feeding, Fred? Yeah, I think we'll start with... Um, want to go with the Nile? Well, the Nile, the, actually, believe it or not... Doesn't like prefer, records. Um, he, do, he really just prefers uh, the turkey, so... You know what? Let's do start with a Nile, but we won't give him that. All right. Let's give him something a little more. Something more that he likes. He likes. Yeah. We got people from Cyprus watching all the way out there in the Mediterranean. Some of these guys have um, appetites that are, you know, they change over the years. And no way. And this guy will no longer eat a fish. Really? Right Come on, Scott. There he is way out there, guys, and you'll see him start to move here. I'll get to your questions, people. Let me um, see if we can't lure him over here a little bit. Okay, let's go on in. This is where now, things get exciting. Now, we may have to run, so... I, don't you worry about me. No, I let a trip over you. In fact, seven years ago today, I was here at Fred's house on my Facebook memories, and I jumped over one of these fences because this guy tried to, tried to get us. But we are live, people. Bye. Live in Come Fred's on. backyard. Up. And so far, not a lot of action. Nice, nice piece of turkey here. Come on. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh boy. That day is a crocodile. Okay. Run! Get the hell out of here! Fred! Holy smokes, guys! That was crazy! <laughs> Oh my God, man. You Fred was on the leg. ground. Whoo, Fred, that was nuts, man. What are you doing on the ground? Was it my fault? Dude, How'd I, you fall? I was I gone. I tripped over you, man. How'd you trip over me? I was gone. Holy smokes. That guy pulled you out. Holy hell. That's he was... all, oh, here they come. Oh, uh, well, yeah. They almost got more than a turkey leg. They almost got you. Now we want to make sure she gets it all. He, rather. Holy smokes, Fred. That was intense, dude. Good grief, man. I'm just glad I didn't have a tug of war going on there. <laughs> oh, crap. Because you would have lost a leg because I would have brought the rest of you out. All right, I want that. <laughs> I need that turkey back. No, man. hold on, everyone. Just chill out for a second. I need to regain. <laughs> we need to. I need to. That was intense, man. This just happens like every day, man. Yeah, all right. Whatever, Fred. <laughs> Holy smokes. I love, that was crazy, dude. I almost got my knee dirty. Yeah, you, look, you actually right. did get dirty, bud. All right, all right, there he is. All right, that big... um. Back. Holy there you go. smokes, guys! That that was nuts, this man. This is really an old animal. Whew. All right, so we'll regain our composure here, uh, and we're just getting started. So that's a big old Nile crocodile right there that almost got a little bit more than than. Uh, oof! Good grief! 
That's my good boy. Now, although he doesn't have a whole lot of teeth left because he's pretty old, does have a lot of power in them jaws. There, you yeah, that? you can hear the cracking. Wow. That was crazy, man. Now, what are we going to do with that? Did he get the last piece of turkey? No, there's a, there's a drumstick. Now, he'll find it. They do have a good sense of smell. Okay. Um, and we don't want to give him too much at one time. Uh, okay. So we're going to let him rest for a little bit. And uh, the gators are probably ready. And now it's kind of new to do this feeding. Oh, cool. Yeah, because um, they're right here by the gate. Yep, sounds good to me. Right where we want them. We're going to get some and of the gators. So when you go in there, um, I, I won't be going in with you this time. Okay. And um, so I, you're on your own, that's all I can tell you. All right. But, um, so I guess I'm going in there, huh? And I'm going to have a camera phone. Yeah, one and hand. And I give you a stick. There's a, um, I have a stick for well, you. Well, listen, hold on a second. And I want you to hold this raccoon. All right, I'm going to hold the raccoon. Not really. No, we'll, we'll, yeah. wait, am I doing it or not? You want to? Well, was that all a joke? Were you just messing with me? Well, I, look, quite honestly, these are not safe to go in and see. That's fine. I'm not doing it, buddy. I got my hands full. I'm just right, going to sit back very, and relax. I um, like doing this. Very can you? Barry, come on over. That's Barry, everybody. These guys have known each other many, many years. They worked as butchers together. So keep an eye on. There's the big bull. Just over the fence and just hold it there. Okay. And when he starts to move out, or just throw it in front of him, he'll, uh, he'll Let's take see. that. Come on, big boy. Yeah, you got to get it on the side of his eye. You can see. He's starting to move. I see his arm going down. All right, people, I can't see what you're saying right now. Give me a second, because the phone is just kind of hanging out over the fence. Come on, big boy. Uh, maybe I'll climb up on it. No, I can't get my feet in there. This is awesome, man. This is a fun live video, Fred. Yeah. You almost died. I'm running. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah I, I want a raise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Barry wants a raise. I thought fun. I had your leg in his mouth. Oh, that was so another, crazy. Um, you almost got him. I have another road to right here, Kenan. I'm going to give it to the female. All right, hold on. Let's, let's do this. Let's give the female that raccoon. He's going to drop it right over. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's yeah, trouble. All right. Uh, Barry, did you throw yours in? Go ahead and throw it to him. See if you can get it to him. Oh, boy. This is going to be a problem. There oh, we, we got a uh -oh. crocodile gator tug of war. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look at that death uh, roll. Death roll. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. This is crazy, Fred. Oh, ah. She got a leg. That was. It. She did get a leg. Uh, <laughs> well, things are a little things are a little intense today, man. I don't know. Man, We're having fun though. This yeah, is pretty this amazing. Is every day, man. Holy oh, smokes! Man. I told you Fred's house would be a fun place to do a live video, people. How cool is this? My goodness. Let me just uh, rinse my hands real quick. I'll be right back. You go ahead, do what you got to do, Fred. Holy smokes, folks! Let me get you flipped around here. Um, this is a lot of fun. This is why I love Fred and I love his animals here. Uh, Fred loves these animals. Um, I've been coming over here for about 12 years now, helping Fred out, learning from Fred. He's an OG reptile guy here, and it's a really cool setup that he has. I love the way he keeps his gators and crocs. He's got nice pens. Uh, really cool. What's up, Orlando SS Material? Um, it's just, it's a great spot. Fred and I met at the Daytona Reptile Expo, and, and I actually sold him a turtle many years ago. And what had happened was, uh, he's mentioned that he had crocodiles, and I thought, oh yeah, everyone's got crocodiles. And finally, about a year after that expo, I went to his house, and I was blown away by everything here. So uh, Fred's a good friend of mine, and, and he loves these animals, and we're having a good time. We're, we're trying to ham it up a little bit. But... It's real, folks. This is what's going on right now, right? Yeah, man, this is what we do. It's fun. Yeah, we're not going to put really ourselves or anybody else in that much danger. We know what's going on. That's, I'm going to say a bad uh, word. That is BS. <laughs> because I don't know how much more real it could have gotten um, today with Fred. I mean, I he was on the ground. How many times have you come over the fence? Dude, I've been over this fence. I have jumped and over this fence, fence in one bound. And like, I've been over many times. Yeah, well, you, you weren't too light on your feet today. It looks like I'd come out flying. You, 
Yep. I did get a little dirty. You did get dirty. All right, buddy, what and are we going to do? Well, I'm going to give him a, a reward. For not eating you? Yes. Okay, uh, so we're back at the Nile so pen. Here we go. Here we go. Tony Williams, you got a shout out, buddy. Oh, now. Uh, now, what's going on uh, here? I'm going to have to get back in there. Yeah, you're going to have to go back in, Fred. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, he sees it. Hold on. There it is. There it goes. Come, come on there. Oh, down. come on. Come on, buddy. There you there go. go. Good uh, boy. There's a potion. I mean, I am afraid of Hey, Ryan Williams, thanks so much for uh, your donation, guys. Listen, seriously, if you guys want to help out and get a shout out, we're risking life and limb today. Two dollars goes a long way for our medical expenses. Let's flip you guys back around. No, you don't want to look at me. You want to look at gators and crocs. All right, there we are. This is the American. An American. Yeah, the American. Actually, this is, this is the Nile. Yeah, right here. that's the Nile. But there's an American croc in there as well. But we're gonna get the Nile all fed. They're like puppy dogs, Fred. Oh yeah. They're... Oh yeah. See if you can catch. Try, ready? Oh jeez, that two. almost was me. Not missed. See how quick the crocs are? My gosh. There you go. Well, that's nice. Okay, take it down. Oh, oh you hear the pop? That's the coolest You're sound ever. To swallow. There's a drumstick. <laughs> Holy ah, moly. Man, this is awesome, guys. Uh, hey, so we got some questions, Fred. Tim Hart. Tim Hart's asking which is the most aggressive uh, um, that you have here today. Uh, that we have here today uh, is actually the American crocodile that's sitting on the neck. Ah, okay. Uh, so she, would you call that aggressive or defensive? What do you think? It's defensive and it's protecting her nest. Right. Um, every depending on the time of year, uh, how the animal been raised. I don't have anything here that I would call aggressive to okay. humans. Um, everything here is uh, pretty much used to being uh, kept alive by a human beings. Right. So these guys uh -oh. have a really incredible feed response is what you're seeing right now. And you're looking at a predatory animal and, you know, it's not that it's aggressive so much, it's just that the animal is responding it's to being fed, response. and it's all power. When this animal's out in the wild, it has to be fast, really quick, and it's got to use those jaws and all its muscles to end the life of whatever prey item it's going for quickly so it doesn't get hurt. Right, and it's important to remember that um, if I'm going to go in there with a trimmer or a rake or a, a chainsaw, these animals know that's what I'm in there doing. Um, they totally leave me alone. Oh, that's cool. Now, to wash in with food, there's no doubt you're going to get a different response, as you saw. Right. Now, I expected that response. Maybe I did trip a little coming across yeah. that log. But, Shit. But, um, that was sick. But, the, um, you know, they know the difference. Gotcha. They're really not They are smart animals. Smart. And I want to give a shout out to so and so 1111. Thanks so much for your con contribution. We're having fun. This is a great one, guys. This is like so much fun here at uh, Fred's. And ladies and gentlemen, it is Kenny. He's showed up, man. Slow hands. Oh, no. Slow, slow, hands. slow hands. Look, it's slow hands. Folks, you see what happened to him. <laughs> he, he, he was feeding through the fence, and he lost a finger. That's why you drink water now. That's right. They laying off the, the Bud Light. Uh, that's a joke, folks. I think well, he, wasn't that, was, that a butcher accident, actually? Sure. Yeah, okay, was, there you go. He didn't get bit by right a crow. There, actually, <laughs> I didn't have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Fred. Are we going to feed anyone else? Absolutely. Um, can't let everybody get hungry. So, no, um, let's keep it going, man. This is this geez. has got to be my favorite live feed we've done. Actually, we're going to up. Oh, oh the salty. Right? Let's let's get the salty fed. Look at this beautiful animal here, everybody. Saltwater crocodile. I'm uh, giving a shout out to all my friends out there in uh, Australia. I know the the critter cam guys are out there. Yeah, you hey say hello guys. To, yeah, yeah, man. Say hello to Pete and uh, Colin. Pete, Colin, good to see you guys. Uh huh. All right, so yeah. let's. Oh, Ryan Williams, thank you, Ryan. That was really cool, you man. I'd hey, listen, rather, um, hold on one second, Fred. I just want to say thanks to Ryan Williams. Uh, give him a shout out, two bucks. That really helps. Listen, I really do appreciate all you guys' contributions. I'm shouting out as many people as I can, but you know your contributions help keep me doing these live feeds in the channel. So I really do appreciate it, guys. 
But uh, what are you going to say, Fred, about this critter? Right, this, don't get too close, Kevin. Okay. This, this animal has an extremely aggressive feeding um, behavior and uh, is very fast. And okay. I'd rather that she did not hit the fence. Hit the fence. So I'm going to feed. I'm going to throw stuff on the other side for her. Okay. I'll stay here. Yeah. And let's just. And we're just going to throw it on the other side. Her, um, oh, okay. Get her away. Um, definitely the fastest. And of course, this is ferocious. This is the Australian saltwater crocodile. And this is about a, believe it or not, she's about an 11 year old female. That's an 11 year old gal, huh? About no. Uh, this is she awesome. Grew very slowly at first, but all of a sudden. Guys, look at the snapping turtle coming out right now. Look at the snapping turtle wants some oh, food. You better give him something. You better get, like, this is great. Look at this. This is a snapper coming right on out. He knows it's feeding time. He might lose his head. He might lose his head. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look out, snapper. Oh, he don't care. Holy smokes. We got a lot happening here at Crocodile Corner. Mason R., uh, I guess if there's a little on the comment thing, Mason, I guess there's a little dollar sign. And if you're, oh, no. Oh, no. Look out. Turtle pulled his head in. There's a little dollar sign there, and I guess you can contribute whatever you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, hey, Herptile ha Haven asks, how many body parts has Fred lost? <laughs> so far, none, but we almost That's saw him lo lose a foot. Look, I do have all my... Yeah, Fred Fred does have, have all, all of his fingers. So far. Almost I think minus it, a leg that I... Yeah. I think what was more dangerous was his career as a butcher for so many years. <laughs> but um, this is a beautiful salty. My gosh, what an animal. Let me give her a all right, I'm just going to stand here and look at this. Uh, we're going kind of far away from the um, Alex Groff. Two turtles. Right on, buddy. Uh, hey, Dante, I'll shout you out anyway, man. So, yeah, I can't go too much further, Fred. I think we're going to lose our All connection. Right. Right, so man. we'll walk All back right. over hey, that guys, way. Thanks for uh, visiting. Yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Um, That's it. Yeah, that's it man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hey guys, thanks so much. This was a pretty exciting live feed. There's the American crocodile, by the way. As we uh, leave, we got a bit of a bad connection. Let's see if she'll eat something. Oh, oh, she's yeah, yeah. she's interested. She's definitely interested. Very cool, man. And we hopefully well, we keep the tonight. crocodiles and the snappers together because they coexist in the wild. And, uh, you know, they just live with each other, and if they're, they're doing fine. together, they seem to do okay. Yep. No worries. Space is limited sometimes. <laughs> hey, Kelvin Wu, I go live every Thursday at 4 o'clock. It may not be as exciting as it was today, but here they all are. Uh, thanks so much, guys. We had a great time. I'm going to walk slowly here uh, so you guys can see. Um, I go live every week. If you guys want to help support this channel, uh, please subscribe, share. Uh, we had fun here today. Oh my gosh, man, how sick. So uh, guys, I love doing this for you. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm honest to goodness, that was close with Fred over there. I mean, I, I'm a bad cameraman. I actually should have shown you how close that was, but my goodness, man, we almost lost, we almost lost the old boy. All right, did you guys have fun? Hope you did, man. Thanks so much. Thank you, Michelle. I love this hat too. Colin, Colin Schumark hooked it up all the way from Australia. Mika Dowdy, I'm shouting you out, man. All right. Thanks for everyone that, that watched. Share this. Subscribe to the channel. If you really want to help out, get a Camp Kennedy t-shirt, and I'll talk to you guys later. So long.